Now let's take a look at queues. A queue is a FIFO, or first in, first out data structure. This is really intuitive because we see queues in every walk of life. Almost in everything you do on a daily basis, you encounter queues. Queues have two key functions. You enqueue an item by adding it to the end of the line. You dequeue an item means removing it from the front of the line. So some use cases for queues, just about everything you wait in line for. So bank tellers, placing an order at McDonald's or your favorite restaurant, uh, DMV customer service, supermarket checkout, pretty much anything that has a line is what a queue is. And it's, it's important to be able to model that in a computer program. So the queue data structure allows us to do that. Now let's take a look at how we can implement a queue in Python. It's actually pretty simple because Python already provides us a built-in library called the DEQ, or D-E-Q-U-E. -E. That's a double-ended queue. That allows you to add and remove items from both ends of the queue. For our simple queue, we don't really need that functionality. We just want to be able to add items to one end of the queue and pop them off of the other. So we can use the append function to add items or push items onto our queue, and we can use pop left to remove items or pop items off of the queue. You can see the full documentation in Python here if you want to learn more about how double-ended queues work. So for basically just using a double-ended queue in Python as a single-ended queue, we can use from collections import deck. That's going to import our double-ended queue library. And then we'll create a new queue, my queue. And that's going to be a double-ended queue object. And then we can append items or push items using the append function. So we can push a 5 and we can push a 10 onto the queue. And then when we print out the queue, we see that we have a double-ended queue with a 5 and a 10 on it. And then if we want to pop items off of the queue, we use pop left. And here we get the 5. That pops an item off of the tail end of the queue or the left end of the queue. So it's pretty easy to implement a queue in Python. This is obviously a common enough data structure that Python built in a library for it. Now, as a fun exercise for you, you may try writing a wrapper class for the double-ended queue to make a single-ended queue using push and pop, as we did similar for the stack. 